You know, for me, I'm three weeks out, right? To me, I don't get flustered this this close to a show. I don't get tempted to eat a pizza or eat a burger or eat a donut because I'm so fucking close, you know, like 18 days away. I see it. I can taste the donut in my mouth. I can taste it. And I don't get flustered. I stay completely dedicated and controlled. And my, I'm like walking in meditation. I'm streamlined. I'm so, so damn focused. Tunnel vision. So when I walk into a speedway and I have to give the, the lady my money to, to uh, fill up my gas tank and I see donuts, I see uh, uh, pastries, what do you call it? Honey buns, um, pizza, popcorn, all this stuff. And I walk in there, I just smell it. I don't even get phased anymore because it's a part of my lifestyle now to eat healthy and eat on a nutritional pattern. Ruby Winkler, winning there with Nathan the Ashes and Stu. Made, made from Inwood, Inrich White Hominy. So we're gonna start with um, the white rice. I got everything heated up, um, ready to go. Got the sweet potatoes in the oven now. Nothing fancy, will smell really good. We got the white rice or water boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some white rice, uh, long grain, enriched rice, white rice, same thing. Throw it in there. Here we got the uh, green peppers. I don't like eating vegetables. I've realized that vegetables don't really do well with me recently. I don't know why. Not vegetables, I'm sorry, like uh, broccoli, uh, green beans, you know, the regular vegetables. So here I got. Uh, spinach, which I'm going to toss in the white rice. Got green peppers and uh, the vegetables or fruit. I don't really know which one it is. Um, delicious avocado, super food. Um, so I kind of stay away from bro uh, broccoli. It makes me kind of bloat. Don't know why. Green beans are just green beans. So I don't eat them as, as, as often. So I'll try to get my potassium and my green in somehow by throwing in different items like, um, or I should say different foods like green peppers and uh, my spinach so but yeah you know for me spinach with a little bit of salt tiny bit of salt into, into, into the white rice gives it a little bit of flavor and also helps me get my greens in as well boiling now so I'll get go ahead and turn this to uh, simmer grab this real quick so I got my pans all heated up ready to go just gonna cut this chicken out. Um, I butterfly it all the time. The reason why I butterfly my chicken is because less cook time. Uh, so less cook time means eat a juicier chicken. So that's what I always do. I cut it in half um, and I throw it in the pan with a little bit of coconut oil. What I don't do um, is season my my meats in on season. I don't season them in the pan. I wait until I have them in a Tupperware because. The reason being I can control my sodium. If I'm just sprinkling salt all over the meats in the pan, I won't know how much sodium I'm actually getting. So in order to control my sodium and know how much sodium I'm eating, what I do is wait till after it's cooked. All right, so we got some leftover chicken here. And all the shit that's all always stuck on it. Um, so, you know, for me, I like cooking my food fresh every every day. But during prep, I try to cook it um, every two to three days. You know, I don't like cooking my entire pack of chicken. I have another pack in, in the refrigerator. Uh, Ten pounds of chicken. If I cook it in all season, I can get away with doing that. In all season, I'm not eating as much, so it'll sit in the refrigerator for five, six, seven days, and it's gonna taste like rubber. So, what I like to do, don't mind the fuckery of my uh, <laughs> uh, what do you call this thing cabinet it's all over the place take the remains just put it in there 120 eggs here 10 bucks so it's egg season, baby. I don't know why, you know, eggs are so cheap, but in the winter they were so expensive. I don't know. Um, but yeah, 100, 120 eggs. That'll last me, what, two, a week or two. All right, let's check up on the rice. Should be done. Yep, it's done. 
Hopefully I didn't overcook it. You want to put things in your body that's going to make you run well, make you productive, make your brain think faster. That's what you want to put in your body and that's what food is. Your body feels so much better. It just feels so much better. All my clients, all my friends, all my family members who have done this, who have stuck to something for longer than 30 days, have realized the benefits of eating on nutritional pattern. For me, I've been doing it for so long. Back when I was younger, I, I would you know, stay at my mom's house and obviously people 15, 13, 12 years old has, have to eat what their mom cooks. My mom never cooked that. So I've always had you know, the healthy options in the house. Obviously not gonna mix too well right now because the bowl's not big enough, but I'll keep this on the top. And uh, when I take my first two or three cups, I'll get those greens in. And then when I get to this level, I'll add a little bit more. So, oh, these, this is the condiments. Seasoned salt, uh, my favorite. Um, and then, the, I can't believe it's not butter. What I'll do is, you know, when I have my cup, I'll squirt a little bit on there um, when I eat it, before I eat it. And then I'll squirt a little bit on the chicken, not too much. And then I'll weigh my, my sodium in there as well. So, there you have it. Uh, I got the greens in the white rice. Tastes so good. Green peppers, am I gonna cook them? Absolutely not. Uh, I believe vegetables should be eaten raw at all times. But obviously sometimes it tastes good cooked and sauteed. But honestly, if you heat it up, you can lose a lot of the nutrients, nutritional value. So what I like to do is just cut these babies up. I can honestly eat this like fruit. I can eat it whole. Um, I used to get stomach aches, I used to eat these so much. But now I just cut it in half, chop it up, and then throw it in a Tupperware with the rest of my food. So I try to eat these cold and raw. Um, same with my spinach, if I'm not putting it in my, my rice. Let's see. They look done. Yeah, they're all done. Man, I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat my meal number four. This is my second to last meal. So my sodium con my sodium ran out, so I'm not gonna be putting salt on the chicken. Still gonna taste okay. Um, the when you when you heat up in coconut oil, cook it in coconut oil or any type of oil, it still gives you that crust. There we go, we got eight ounces. A couple handfuls, see how many grams it comes out to be. It's good, let's just do 70 grams. One fourth cup, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Well, that's on season for you, so we're gonna go ahead and throw that in there. Tell me right now that doesn't look sexy as hell. They're talking about healthy food isn't good. Got my greens, my four cup of white rice on the top. Very, very small amount of carbs and my sexy chicken in the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat that. Quick grits, easily digestible in the system. Pre or post workout, excellent choice. Um, when you, before you work out, you don't want heavy carbs. In post-workout, you want quick acting carbs. So what I do is either white rice or, or some quick grits or white, uh, cream of uh, rice, cream of wheat. Very quick acting. And oatmeal is great. Uh, I love oatmeal, but when you do oatmeal consistently, like two, three weeks in a row, for me at least, makes me start, it, I, I grow a tolerance to it. I start to bloat. My body starts rejecting it. It's kind of like when you eat anything, you know, every single day your body starts to reject it. The only thing that my body doesn't reject that I eat every day is eggs. It's kind of weird. But got that. So my main carbs three weeks out. Quick grits. Um, obviously, we have the white rice already shown. And then the sweet potatoes. Um, I love sweet potatoes. Um, so right now, that's pretty much all the carbs that I eat in um, on season. And then what I'll do is have white rice or quick grits before, before and after workouts. And um, every other meal have sweet potatoes. If I'm not eating carbs with full glycogen, what I'll do is eat um, carbs with low uh, low glycemic index, carbs that don't spike spike blood sugar, such as avocados, you know, six grams per half serving, and um, what else? Oh, well, green vegetables. So that's uh, pretty much the day of cooking with me. Um, so